Welcome to Holistic Accountant Podcast, where we aim to showcase how adopting a holistic approach in accounting and tax maximizes value for clients. Beyond traditional tasks like preparing financial statements and tax returns, a holistic accountant focuses on offering advice that maximizes personal wealth on an after-tax basis. If you enjoy this episode, please consider leaving a rating and sharing it with those who might also benefit. And to ensure you stay updated, subscribe to our weekly email. The link is in the show notes. Okay, today we're going to talk about electric vehicles and uh, the incentives or whether it's worthwhile to buy them in your business's name um, because they're treated a lot differently to uh, normal combustion engine vehicles. So Mina, over to you. Yep, so we'll talk about the eligibility first because not all electric vehicles are eligible for this fringe benefit tax exemption. Um, so basically the four criteria that the ATO say, or I should say it's, it's probably five criteria, is that the car is a, um, a zero or low emission vehicle, so basically a full electric vehicle or a plug-in hybrid, um, and the car was first held for use after 1 July 2022, which is when the law was enacted, um, and the car is used by either an employee or a family member of that employee. Um, now it's important to know that now, unfortunately, these exemptions don't apply to sole traders, um, so you've got to be in a corporate structure for for you to get a benefit. What about a trust? Um, so, yes, a trust, trust yeah, yeah. Or, will also benefit from it, yeah. um, assuming that it's a, a trading entity, that is. Um, and um, finally, that the the limit on the car can't cost more than $84,916 um, in the 2022-23 financial year. Yeah, which cuts out a lot of Teslas or Porsches or all those sorts of <laughs> All vehicles. the nice ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, however, um, just to note, when it comes to that limit, um, it's also you've got to be conscious of the luxury car limit. So for depreciation purposes and for your GST claim, the luxury car limit of the $64,741 still applies. So that means basically that $20,000 differential between that upper limit and your luxury car limit is basically can't, you can't claim the GST on that and you can't claim depreciation on it. So, I mean, um, break it down for us, mate. What does it actually mean if we, don't, if we don't have an FBT liability? So if we buy a vehicle that ticks all those boxes and we don't have an FBT li- li- uh, liability, what is the benefit to me then of putting that car in a business entity's name? So basically, your, all the associated expenses of that car become fully tax deductible. Now, in a previous podcast, we spoke about fringe benefits tax and, and how that works. Um, usually, what would happen is um, if, if you have a combustion vehicle, um, you would, could only claim what is the business portion of that vehicle in the business. The balance will be consi- uh, subject to FBT. Yep. And that FBT some, sometimes, uh, or more often than not, outweighs the, any benefits associated uh, with owning the vehicle, depending on the value of the vehicle and which method you're using, of course. So there's a significant benefit, obviously, if you if you purchase an electric vehicle or you're associated running costs such as registration, insurance. Um, I've, got to, you've got to, I've got to preface this by saying home charging stations, though, um, do not fall within this, this FBT exemption. <laughs> so it's, Of course not. <laughs> So um, it's more so got to do is, you know, like I mentioned, your registration, your insurance, your, your interest costs, your maintenance of the vehicle and so forth, or uh, depreciation, sorry, is the big one, um, all become tax deductible. So I guess then what you was, were saying, if you're thinking about buying an EV um, at, for less than $84,000 and you run a business in an entity name, either company or trust, then uh, I'd imagine we'd be saying to clients, put it in the business's name. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Short one this week. Uh, Until next week, bye for now.